So we've been here for about four days and the first day was a little bit difficult. Um, there were still active fires and we were actually evacuated um, from where we were um, and we weren't able to actually do very much. Um, the following two days we've mainly been triaging and treating wildlife um, at both the wildlife hospital in Pandana and at Hanson Bay. Got a superficial burn to the nose. Does the fur burn? It would, wouldn't it? It does, yeah. So like his, the tips of his ears are singed. It definitely burns and when they've got deep yeah. burns, there's, you know, the fur's gone all together. female yeah it's it's all very very new to me I've never been um, into a fire zone before um, there's some areas that you can see um, there's you know the trees are burnt the vegetation's burnt and then there's areas that have been um, hit harder such as Flinders Chase where everything's completely burnt there's nothing left and unfortunately in those areas we're seeing a lot of um dead wildlife that we can't really um you know we, we can't really do much that they're beyond help at that stage gail yeah yeah just after closer inspection what did you think of that koala state um very dehydrated poor body condition um probably hasn't eaten for a few days, had very little gut feel and burns to all four feet. So I'd probably say critical at this stage, um, but we'll take him back to the wildlife park and assess him again there. At the moment, mostly what we need is funds to buy veterinary equipment, um, to yeah and you know pain relief fluids for the animals um, we're needing a lot of things like cages blankets um, but really the way people can help us is by um, donating funds um, and you can if you go to our website the rspca south australia website you can find a link to make donations and they would be greatly appreciated